Hello aviation community. This is Doug Hayden again with Bendix King. Uh, today we're going to be having a weather radar discussion. Um, the weather radar is one of the components in your aircraft that uh, either you know how to use very well or you have no idea how to use it. So what I'm going to do is uh, we'll talk a little bit about weather radar. Um, uh, what you may have installed today. Um, if you want to hang around till the end of the video, there will be a link that will get you to another YouTube video that's done by Bendix King that will give you some really detailed information about how the radar works um, and how do you use uh, your weather radar on your aircraft today. So let's go on ahead and get started. Okay, here's the big question. What radar do you have today? Um, and how do you use it? A lot of people really can't answer that question. Now, if you're flying something like the Piper Mirage, uh, TBM 700, PC-12, or the Cessna Caravan, uh, you most likely are flying with our radar, the RDR-2000. Um, the RDR-2000, to give you a little background, was uh, broad-based installed by OEMs for many, many years. Um, so there's a really good chance that if you have that wing pod mounted radar, as these aircraft do, that you have an RDR-2000 sitting out there. So let's talk a little bit about it. And how do you use it is the main thing. So here's a couple of graphics, as you can see. Now this is some... Uh, many different indicators that we've had over the past and our current indicators uh, that are displaying weather radar. The main thing about this is that weather radar is used for situational awareness. Now, the big thing about weather radar is that there's a large difference between actual real-time tactical weather radar than using NEXRAD or some kind of download uh, weather. Um, the big thing about weather radar is you can actually use it for real-time tactical weather penetration. So if you're flying a high-performance aircraft, um, IFR, of course, that you're wanting to navigate weather or avoid weather, then what you can do is actually use these tools to determine the safest way to navigate that weather. If you look at some of the pictures, of course, on the left, this is one of our uh, legacy MFDs. This is showing a basic weather radar picture, as you can see. Now, weather radar representation, of course, red is severe, yellow is moderate, green is light, and black is no returns. Uh, we won't really go too deep into the actual how the weather radar works as far as uh, functionally, or excuse me, as far as the units itself. And that's really what that video will tell you at the end of the. Uh, presentation or the end of this video clip. So, but you can see overlaying a flight plan onto a screen with radar, weather radar on it is an incredibly useful tool. Now, the top three pictures are actually a horizontal view, and you can see the flight plan overlaid that right over the top of the weather real time. Now, with NEXRAD or some other kind of download weather, that data could be five to seven minutes old. Now that's fine if you're doing this for flight planning, but when you're doing it for actual real-time tactical weather penetration, especially in a high-performance aircraft, this storm or your route may need to change very quickly, uh, depending on what you're running into. Now if you look at the bottom center picture, this is actually a really neat uh, option that you can get with our radars. It's called Vertical Profile. Now, the way that that works is basically you're, you're going to have a horizontal scan of your uh, weather radar that gives you that horizontal presentation that you see on the top three screens that we show here. Now, if you have a cell of interest, let's say that uh, we're looking at that top image in the center, uh, at about 2 or 3 o'clock, 2.30, uh, there is a cell, a red cell, and we wanted to look at that horizontally then we could actually move a track line over to that cell and then hit a vertical profile button. And what it does is it's doing the scan. It'll actually go to that point and stop and start scanning vertically. Now, of course, uh, using the information that you're going to get from range, um, your actual angle, 
and your tilt, you'll actually be able to tell what the top and the bottom of that cell actually is to see how big the storm is. Of course, you know, this is just like everything else. It's all about situational awareness. And like I said, this is a little bit of everything from our older MFDs, radar indicators, and the top right is one of our new products, the MFDs that actually give you a really good representation of whether radar is an overlay function. Let's go ahead and go to the next slide. Now, there's many different features you can get with a weather radar. Um, the RDR 2000 uh, was broad-based installed again. It's a fantastic radar, but there is upgraded features that you can get with different radars. Now, for say that you have an RDR 2100, if you look at the top left graphic, uh, the RDR 2100 is capable of doing a really neat safety feature called auto range limiting. Now, what that is, if you look at the top left graphic, um, the cell, the radar can actually see all the way through that cell. So instead of painting it black where you think, hey, it's great behind that cell, um, it's actually shading it to say, I can't see through it because the last thing you want to do in that scenario is navigate that storm and come out on the other side and find out it's twice as bad. So auto range limiting, great upgrade to have to your radar system and something that's really good about safety. If we look at the top right, we have a feature called sector scan. Now sector scan is also a neat feature because what it allows you to do, a radar is going to scan at least the RDR 2000 at about 90 degree scan total. What it allows you to do is take that 90 degree scan rate and bring it down to a more narrow scan rate, which then of course gives you a more focused um, radar representation and it moves faster because it's not having to scan point to point, it actually scans right here. So it's really fast going back and forth. So it allows you again to watch that critical weather that may be in your flight path. Uh, another feature that we have is actually auto tilt. Now, auto tilt's a really neat feature because um, if you think about radar operation uh, in flight, of course, you're looking at freezing levels and things like that. Now, as you adjust your altitude, um, your radar tilt has to change or you're going to lose sight of that freezing level at the specific range that you had it at before. So what auto tilt does is actually as the aircraft increases in altitude, it will actually increase down angle of the uh, dish. So you'll still have that same freezing level in on your screen at the same distance, which gives you, you know, good representation so you don't lose track of where you're at with that freezing level. All right, next slide. Um, you know, we talk about, we talked initially about the RDR 2000. Um, the RDR 2000 is capable of doing all of these features with a simple upgrade. Um, this is something I know we've talked about at Oshkosh before, but uh, we're able to take your radar, your RDR 2000 you have today in your TBM, your Cessna 2A Caravan, your PC-12, and do a very, very simple upgrade to the RDR 2060. And the 2060, as you can see by the bullets here, and I'll, I'll give you a more detailed because this is kind of hard to see, uh, but it's going to increase your power, uh, give you better safety, and reduce your pilot workload. Okay, so here's a good breakdown of what do, what do you get when you do this upgrade. Um, we're going to actually replace your magnetron, increase your power by 2,000 watts. It's a 50% power upgrade. Um, it's going to increase your range from 240 to 320, which is very, very important when you're flying one of these high-performance aircraft because it's going the, the additional power will give you better short-range weather penetration and returns. Um, it's going to give you auto range limiting, sector scanning, auto step scan that we've we've talked about before, and then that auto tilt feature, which these are all great features in regards to situational awareness. And like I said, check out the uh, link on the back side of this video, and uh, it'll give you a really good run through of how this works. And this is something really that you can do anytime your aircraft's down. It's a simple upgrade. You get your same unit back. Um, we do all the mods, we do all the upgrades to the software, and really there's not a lot of change to the installation at all. So it's very, very simple. Now here's the uh, link that I talked about before. 
that gives you that detailed uh, radar theory and operational information. It's a great video. Um, you might grab a cup of coffee when you want to look at it because it is a longer video, but the data in it is things you typically don't get to learn unless you're going to a seminar somewhere. So please check that out. All right, well, that's about all I got. So uh, I hope you all stay happy and healthy. And uh, from us at Bendix King, we hope that you have a great day.